In earlier times, thousands came to clamber up Alaska's mountains in a search for buried treasure. Many of those hopeful prospectors arrived here at the port town of Valdez, nestled between Prince William Sound and the Chugach Mountains. Valdez started as a landing site and camp for miners arriving by ship during the Alaska Gold Rush in 1897. Steamship companies promoted this spot as the start of the Valdez Glacier Trail, a direct route to what they promised were rich, untapped gold fields in the Alaska interior. Four thousand green prospectors set out up this glacier, hauling 200-pound sleds by hand. The route was a nightmare. Men disappeared into crevasses, went snow blind, and struggled up slopes that were twice as steep as promised. Eventually, the prospectors realized that they had been conned. The Valdez Glacier Trail was a hoax, perpetrated to sell tickets to Alaska. Most made it out alive a year later, but many a man found an icy grave in the Valdez Glacier. In 1899, a new route was forged into gold country by the U.S. Army. The new trail snaked up through this narrow river valley called Keystone Canyon, where a century later, the route is still the only road in or out of Valdez. At 2,800 feet high, the road crests the Chugach Mountains here at Thompson Pass. Come winter, this is the snowiest spot in all of Alaska. 46 feet of snow falls each year here, threatening drivers with frequent avalanches. The new trail over Thompson Pass opened the Alaska interior to thousands of prospectors. A year later, two of them stumbled on one of the richest finds in America. On this mountainside above the Kennecott Glacier in 1900, two sharp-eyed prospectors spied an unusually green patch of grass. It turned out to be the tip of a huge vein of high-purity copper ore. Over the next 30 years, this was the site of one of the most productive copper mines in the world. As many as 600 men, some with their families, lived in this remote mining town. Most lived in primitive bunkhouses and worked grueling hours, six or seven days a week. The ore was crushed here at the top of the mill, then sent to a series of smaller mills below, where the copper was leached and concentrated. Miners labored deep inside the mountain in five different mines, including this one, the Erie, perched precariously thousands of feet above the main complex. A ghost town since it was closed in 1938, the Kennecott Copper Mines and Mill are now protected as part of the Wrangell-St. Elias National Park, the largest park in the country. <laughs> 